All right guys, so I messed up the audio on this video, but it was too good not to put out, so we're gonna do it the old school way. In today's video, guys, I'm gonna be showing you basically how I figure out where I wanna put the line down the back of the neck, how to go around the ear in a nice clean circle, also how to do a C cup and get that nice circle without going too far. All right, so to help you guys visualize this line, we're gonna use my comb. I'm gonna basically slide it down until we can see kind of where our line should be. So we wanna look for the first part that there's consistent hair all the way down, and that's gonna be our starting point. So you guys see I placed my comb right there. That is the first area that there is hair all the way down. Now we do have some light and dark spots. We're gonna taper out the bottom. So basically the consistent darker part, you see when we tilt our comb in, that's gonna show us the first place that we can make our line and get a nice solid consistent line. Now obviously as we work our way in guys, we get a nice sharp line right there, but you can see how much hair we would be cutting off. So we're gonna start little by little. You guys wanna use the flat, longer edge of your blade. Your blade is like an inch and a half long, and we're gonna work our way down from basically the end of the curve at the top of the ear. The rest of that's gonna be a straight line. So you guys can start at the top or you can start at the bottom. You just wanna visualize kind of what we saw with the comb, then we're gonna use that flat edge of the blade to cut that line in. So just little by little, we don't have to get it in first try. You guys can work your way up, work your way back down. Also, you wanna brush the hair down until you get a nice consistent line going from the bottom of the neck all the way up to that curve at the top. And then we'll go ahead and tackle that curve next. All right, so moving on to the curve around the ear, you guys can see we stopped at this point and now we have to just finish the circle around the ear. Now I'm gonna take my middle finger, I'm gonna place it on his head. That is gonna allow me to pivot the trimmer around the ear, kind of like a compass that we used to draw circles with in school. It's gonna give us that clean circle and we'll be able to pivot around. Now you guys can see I'm using the back edge of the blade, only the last few teeth, and the hair is growing back towards the back of his head. You guys can see as I comb it, so I'm gonna comb it against the way it wants to grow and then we're gonna take the clipper against it. If we go from the front to the back, it's just gonna push the hair out of the way. So we wanna go from the back to the front, at least at this part, and cut against the hair. Once we get to the top of the ear, we can finish it off from the other side. And again, guys, go little by little. We don't wanna take it too high, but we do wanna get a nice clean circle. So just take a little bit off, keep working it until you get that nice, consistent, smooth line and a nice circle all the way around. Now, if you notice that some of the hairs are a little bit long, you guys can come in with your comb. Like you see here, I'm holding his ear out of the way. I use the comb to hold the hairs down and then cut anything that's hanging over out of the way. Sometimes those hairs are just hard to get with your clipper, guys, and you have to clean them up that way. Now, we'll just spend a little bit more time detailing what we've done so far before we move on to the part in front of the ear. Now we're gonna work from the front back to that halfway point. We're gonna pivot the same exact way. So you see my fingers on the head. I'm gonna work it up over the ear and connect to the line that we started from the back. Now we can pull the ear down and finish that up. And you guys can come forward against the growth pattern. Again, the hair is still running back a little bit and I still have to use this comb trick to clean that up. So you guys do it accordingly, a little bit of both, but make sure you guys get that nice, clean, consistent circle. We don't wanna to go too high. It should go around the ear and connect into that front of the sideburn. Now for the C-cup, guys, I'm gonna pull out my enhancement card. It is a quarter of a circle. That's why it was made that way. And ideally, your C-cup is gonna be a quarter of a circle going down, connecting to the beard. So I wanted to hold it up to show you guys kind of where the most consistent hair is. Again, when you guys are doing lineups, we always wanna get a nice sharp line while taking off as little as possible. So you guys see when we place that in there, the first area that we can get a nice clean line, that is the C-cup that we're gonna go for. So we'll go ahead and pull that out of the way. And then we'll come in with our trimmer same way, we're gonna pivot that around and we'll get that nice clean circle there. We do wanna connect into the beard, so if the beard is too thick, then the C-cup needs to go into it. If the beard is thin, then the C-cup may have to be a little thinner. So we just wanna kinda of look at that before we come in here and cut our C-cup in. So we're gonna start at the top corner, guys. I'm just gonna punch it in with the corner of the blade. Then we're gonna work our way down towards the beard line or the connected part of the beard. And you guys will see, we'll just do it little by little again. You guys can see the top corner is kinda of sharp. 
And we'll just continue to work our way down towards that beard. Again, tying into the beard, we don't want to take too much off. We want it to grow back nice. We just want to connect in from what the beard is. I didn't touch his beard. We want to work our way up towards that initial line that we put in at the top of the C cup. So again, little by little, you guys see I'm just working my trimmer and we'll just go at it until we get that nice smooth circle shape. Now you guys can see as we start to get this together, it really complements when you have a nice smooth line around the ears, a nice sharp C cup. I didn't do his beard in this video, but when the C cup connects to the beard, that's why it's called a C, it goes around from the corner down to the beard and makes a C shape. And when you add that in with a nice line around the ears and down the back of the neck, it just makes the haircut really pop. Now guys, I'm gonna finish this up. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna taper out the neck real quick too in this video and you guys can check out the finished product.
All right, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys learned something. I apologize about the audio. If you guys did enjoy this one, make sure you click this video right here for some more major tips.